Have you seen the laws of attraction manifest in your life and what has been your truest vision board moment? Oh, wow. Um, well, I grew up making vision boards and I, um, I see it as sort of a guilty pleasure now to sit and you know, do them. I love, I love doing it. And um, I've kind of made Instagram my vision board now a little bit. Um, yeah. Pinterest, you know, we have sort of that way to do it Social now. media. And um, I, you know, I've always been inspired by quotes and, and um, I think we're in a time now where people are much more open to the idea of that we create our realities and that, um, you yeah. know, being in touch with our higher power and, and spirituality versus just religion as being, you know, the, the way to go. Um, that there is some, obviously, some source that um, has created this magnificent universe and whatever that whatever you want to call that source right. and however you were raised or whatever your heart connects to when you say that person or that thing, that to me is, is the most important thing. Um, it's just interesting to, to see what we focus on is really what we attract in our lives. And, um, and, and what that is, I was just reading this book called Personal Power, and my son was like, Mommy, what's personal power? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's a superhero. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, love, I love reading books that, you know, put good messages into my brain and my cells and my, you know, because there's so much yeah. news out there and we're flooded with so much information that it's nice to choose the information that you're taking in as well and to take an information that is uplifting and feels good that you know helps us each focus more on what we really want in life because there's Absolutely. a lot of distractions and things and you know influences around us so, um, so yeah and it, was there anything like when that was on your vision board when you were younger that like mm. you saw happening like whoa most of it happens all the time you know I think if you put up images I remember when I was 20 and I was doing Generations, and I wanted a Range Rover. It's like my dream car, and they had just come out with this Range Rover, and it was kind of a new thing. Not many people had them. And um, so I put a picture up in my dressing room, and every day I looked at it, and I would just, every check, put a little money away, and put a little money away, and, and I got it. And I was, you know, pretty young, but I worked yeah. very hard. And um, so I got it. And so, you know, I think any time you, like, it's, again, it's back to what we focus on. So. So much of what we focus on is what we don't want, what we don't like. We're in judgment of so many things that if we took all that energy and put it solely into what we do want, what we do love, what we do like about people or things, material yeah. things or energy, whatever, then you attract it. You know, we, when you're focused on lack, it's hard to attract abundance, right? But most of us are raised with this sense of lack or scarcity or... Oh my God! There's not enough, or, or they like have negative more, thinking, or I don't, I didn't grow up with any money, or my parents, you know. So you have a sense of that, and it's kind of like retraining our, ourselves. I wish they taught it in school more. Yeah, I know. I, <laughs> I do. I wish you know we were taught life skills. You know. Yeah, you those are to... much better skills than a, I mean. Once you have your basic education, you know, then you know how do we be the best manifestors we can be of, of things we want in our life. You have to put by being positive and putting your intentions out there and just yeah. believing, yeah. I think. So I find that very inspirational. Yeah.